This week, the House passed a bill that would overhaul America's elections, like in a major way. It's a democratic dream. Our next guest testified before Congress on this issue, Hans von Spakowski. He's a senior legal, a senior legal fellow at the Heritage Foundation. Good morning, sir. How are you? I'm good. Uh, good morning to you. I'm doing just fine. Thank you. Good. So this this bill is crazy. Why don't you break it down and what is the biggest concerns with it? Basically, it's a federal takeover of the administration of elections in this country, which have been run by the states basically since our founding. And it take the worst aspects of last year's election, cement them in place with federal law, and then make things even even worse than that. And it not only imposes all of these very bad mandates on the states, it in essence eviscerates and gets rid of every safety protocol security protocol that states have in place. Just a quick example, two quick examples is um, it, it essentially uh, makes it unenforceable for states to have a voter ID law. It makes it unenforceable for a state to require a witness signature on an absentee ballot. There's simply no reason for that unless you want to make it uh, easier to cheat in our election uh, system. Right. And one of the things, too, is like I'm pretty sure in this little document right here, the Constitution right. does push this onto the states under the 10th Amendment. But it's also cited that the state legislatures do that. One of the big things that concerns right. me about this is voting rights. And I'm, I'm reading off of a Vox, not Fox, a Vox. And it creates a new national automatic voter registration. So if you do nothing, right. you are automatically registered. I mean, that. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, it, no, in fact, that's one of the mandates. Every state has to put in automatic voter registration. And if people want to know, 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 want to know what that means, it means that uh, states have to automatically register you from state databases. So if you go get a driver's license, you're automatically registered. If you apply for public assistance at a welfare office, you're automatically registered. It also includes federal agencies in that. So federal agencies like the Center for Medicaid and Medicare Services have to send information on people who are in their database to mm -hmm. the state for registration. You understand what this means. First of all, it means there will be multiple duplicate registrations of the same individual because I, for example, I know I'm in numerous state and federal databases. There are people who are not U.S. citizens who are in these databases who may accidentally get registered to vote. And by including federal agencies, you're putting federal agencies in a position of deciding uh, where your domicile is, where your residence is mm -hmm. for voting purposes, which could affect your tax status. Right. I mean, it is crazy. You know, I, I, we could go on about this for the next hour. Right. This, this article is, is multiple pages long, but I, I wish we had more time, but unfortunately I'm out. Hans von Spakowski, thank you for joining us. We appreciate it, sir. Sure, thanks for having me.